Okay, Sunday, the fifth, fifth workout today. Um, pretty good one. I read it and I got a little bit scared, a little bit scared at first, but uh, it's good. One thing I want to go over real quick is the warm up. I have some really good movements in it. If you guys are ever like, how do I warm up? What can I do? Um, a couple of these movements are our favorites here. We use them often. Uh, one's going to be a, the groiner. The groiner is one of my favorites. It feels really good. If you can back up a little more so we can see you. There you go, good. So she's just gonna step her right foot up next to her right hand and just kind of hang there for a second and then switch. Uh, one thing I do like, if you keep that back leg straight, squeeze your butt tight, lock that knee tight, you're gonna feel a nice deep stretch in here. So the warm-up includes those, has 10 of those. Next one in the warm-up is the bootstrapper. Bootstrapper, you're in the bottom of a squat, grab it on your feet. You don't have to necessarily hold your feet, but just keep your hands on your feet. Pick your butt up as high as you can and drop them back down. When you guys drop back down, you're thinking about winding your shoulders back and, and screwing your knees out. So you notice when Kristen comes to the bottom, she's really trying to pull her chest up, screw her knees out. Another great one for the hips and uh, hamstrings there. Next one is a pike to push up. So you're in a downward dog type pike position. And you're just going to hit a push. You're going to get that nice stretch going on there. And then lower yourself down to push up. And then push back through into that pike position. Another great one. We use that often. Uh, next one is the dead bug. Dead bug and use utilized a lot by our pregnant members here. Um, and it's also just great to get your kind of core activation here. So she's got her feet up in the air, hands up in the air like a dead bug. And she's in a lower and opposite leg and opposite hand maintaining this tension through here. She's not letting herself break open in order to get that done. So guys, get, get, get good at those because they're super beneficial, very helpful, and take your time with them. We're not in, a, we're not in a hurry, we want these to be quality. This is not a qua uh, quantity type movement here. So the actual workout itself is three little mini e uh, five minute AMRAPs, or EMOMs, excuse me, um, of a single movement. So the first movement is a backpack thruster. We have 15 reps the first minute. So you get three, two, one, go, boom. It's not super heavy. All right. She's coming up, thrust, you got 15 of those. You wanna bust this out in one set. 15, she's gonna drop it down. The next minute, we're going an extra five reps. So the next minute's gonna be 20. The next minute, 25. The next minute, 30. And in the final minute, is that right, 30? Final minute will be 35. So if you guys hit a wall with those reps, you can't do any more as a big unbroken set, and there's not enough time to get the prescribed weight uh, reps in, excuse me, done, then limit yourself back to the uh, set that you can actually do. Next, you're gonna rest a minute and move to the next. Next move is the backpack up down. So that's again, Imam fashion. You are going four backpack up downs in the first minute. So that simple stuff, you're just holding a bag in your hands if you'd like and standing up with it, putting the bag in the ground, hitting it up down. That'd be more of a burp, you know? Oh, it is an up down, sorry. So just keep your arms straight. There you go, just stand up with the bag. If you guys want to have the bag on your back, you can. Uh, it might bounce around hitting the back of the head. It's really up to you at that point. But we're increasing that rep uh, scheme for every minute. So the next minute will be eight, the next minute will be 12, the next minute will be 16, and then the final minute will be 20. So again, it gets more challenging and ramps up with the reps as you go. Those aren't too bad. The thrusters are gonna, are, are gonna smoke you up good. Remember, there is a minute rest between each of these movements. The final movement is an imam for another five minutes. I, I don't know why I saw 10 in my head or something. <laughs> but we got 10 V-ups or tuck-ups. So V-up is a great movement. I suggest all you guys start with the V-up. Straight arms, straight legs, reach for the toes. Uh, and if you hit the wall and you can't do them anymore, go to the tuck-up. So we have 10 the first minute. The next minute we got 15, next minute we got 20, next minute we got 25, and the final minute we have 30. So do your best to try to get all those reps, start with the V-ups, and then scale back to the tuck-ups. We want to get more reps done with this particular workout. Uh, let us know how you guys do with this one, tag the gym. Uh, we don't necessarily have a virtual class on Sunday, but maybe we'll just jump in and do a flash, flash class, flash virtual class, not. something. So let us know how you guys do.